Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to do a five minutes makeup look. Now if you're going to look at the length of this video, this is obviously way longer than five minutes that's because I've been talking a lot and also at the end of this video I'm giving you multiple lipstick options because um, those of you who follow me for a while already know my love for lipsticks and if you're new in here hi I'm a crazy lipstick lover I decided to stay with this red lipstick for the intro just because I think it's a very special red before we get into it I wanted to let you guys know that this video is in partnership with Gucci Beauty I'm so excited about this because I've already used their products on my channel, the foundation, eyebrow products that I've been using it for, I don't know, ever since they launched it, I guess. So for this video in particular, I actually went to Sephora and bought some new products that you haven't seen on my channel, just so we could, you know, spice it up a little bit. If you'd like to see how I've created this look and all the lipstick choices that goes with this look, then please keep on watching. Welcome. In my living room, I cleaned before I got you guys in here. Okay, now let's get into the the lip balm. The lip balm looks like this. It's so beautiful. I think this is this is metal. Maybe it's plastic, but it's like it feels super heavy. I love a good lip balm, and I prefer the one that has either an applicator or something that looks like a lipstick, so that I don't have to actually, you know, put my fingers in it. Then we're going to move on with Silk Priming Serum. Love their packaging. This is glass and then I love the combination between the blush pink and the gold. Really pretty, very simple but very very pretty. This is probably a bit too much. The primer feels very very smooth. It creates that velvety kind of a surface. This is what the foundation looks like. It's exactly like the primer, same packaging. Glass with this beautiful blush pink cap. You've got one ounce of product and the price is $68. And this is available in 40, 40, 40 shades. They've started big with this foundation. You could definitely apply this with a brush or with a sponge. If you want a super, super natural look, you would apply it with your brush. If you want more medium coverage, then you would get it with a sponge. I don't think I need a lot of coverage right now, therefore I'm going to use a brush. Please note that this color that I'm using, it's a bit darker than my skin because I have self tan on. So just be aware. All right, now, if you want to make this super, super natural, you are going to spread it as much as you can. This foundation has semi-matte finish. I personally like it a lot because it's very versatile. So if you want, you could apply a second layer or just apply it with a sponge and it will immediately increase its coverage. I've said this before, I much rather have a product, you know, for the base, concealer or foundation that is more on the medium coverage side because you never know when you need that coverage. Listen, Gucci doesn't have concealer, so I'm gonna apply some concealer off the camera. I've applied concealer, now I'm gonna move on with this. <gasps> You guys, wow. Well, wait, my greasy hands. This color, I love, I love, love, love the packaging. And then check out the powder. It's really pretty. This is number three. I don't know why I'm looking in the monitor. It looks kind of reddish, but in real life, it has that golden tone. First time I'm applying this. I like it. Actually, let's just stop here because I tend to apply a lot of bronzer. Looking at my videos, I'm like, dude, like what is wrong with you? You apply way too much bronzer. I'm not gonna apply blush 
so maybe that's a good excuse to apply a little bit more bronzer. I like it because although I have not powdered, I, I did not powder my skin. This is the skin after I've applied the foundation, no powder. A touch of powder under my eyes, but nothing in here. And I really like the way it applies because normally after you apply foundation, you kind of need to set your foundation with a very, very thin layer of powder if you move on with bronzing powder, else it's going to stain the skin. So I really like this one because it doesn't look muddy. It's easy to blend. With a blending brush, I'm taking that same bronzer and really getting in the crease. It would be a lie to tell you that these days I'm using eyeshadows because I'm really not, unless I'm doing a look for you guys. But for like every day, Bronzer is my thing. So I just apply bronzer in the crease and then also on the lower lash line. That's a must for me. This makes my eye a little bit bigger. Maybe on the eyes you guys would see it better than on the skin because I definitely apply a good amount in here. Gucci also has this multi-use gel glass. And although, you know, it's not necessarily for a five minutes makeup look, but I just wanted to show you how you could use this. If you want to give your makeup look a very editorial feeling, then you would apply this. When you apply it on bare eyelids, if you have nothing else on your eyelids, just this. There's nothing to worry about creasing. Nothing is going to crease. And it's not really noticeable. Only when you blink, you're probably going to see it. I take a little bit more on these two fingers and get it here as my highlighter. And if you haven't applied a lot of foundation, this is going to last beautiful. Not, it's not gonna be sticky or oily and it's not going to dissolve the foundation, I can guarantee you that, but you need to apply very, very small amount and also very very small amount of foundation now this is real glow this is no color added no texture added it's just well it, it is a little bit of texture because that is really like a gloss but i really love the way it goes with the with the eyes now i'm going to be using the gucci mascara so many of you said amazing things about this mascara i like it more now because it got a little bit old when I first received it, it was like very, very natural looking. And I'm, you know, I love a mascara that gives me a lot of volume. But this one, it doesn't just gives you volume, but it also separates the lashes. I mean, check this out. It's gorgeous, right? The brush is kind of those like uh, silicon, very, very thin, which I think helps, especially those of you who make a stain on, on your eyelids. If you have this sort of like a habit of touching your eyelids with the mascara. It could be because the wand is too big. It could also be the fact that maybe you are blinking too soon. So that's when it stains. Now I'm basically moving on with the second layer. Mascara is done. Now I'll be doing my eyebrows and I use the eyebrow pencil from Gucci. I've been loving this pencil. I, I think I've used it in every single one of my videos lately. This comes with a sharpener. Very cute. And the reason why I love this pencil so much is first because of the color. I mean, thanks to the color. Wait, I've stained my... Thanks to the color. And then I also like the texture. It's very, very powdery. You could do very light strokes and then brush it with the spoolie on the other side of the pencil. And that's gonna make your eyebrows look so, so natural. I like to start with the parts of my eyebrows that need filling. That's the end of my eyebrow. And then right here, right here I've been, I see that I'm missing a lot of hairs lately. My trick for natural looking eyebrows is to have the lower line of my eyebrows a little bit more precise. 
because that's giving the eyebrows a very, very clean look. But then for the top line right here, I brush it through a lot, a lot, a lot. You will not see a precise line in there, right? I think that is what makes the eyebrows looking so, so natural. When it comes to lipstick, Gucci has three finishes, three textures. You've got matte, satin finish, and more like a balmy finish. They have amazing colors. I will take the lip balm off and apply Blaze, something with moon, Blaze of Moon, something like that. And this is a satin finish lipstick. And I think a lot of you would love this color. Mm. Say what? Feels very, very comfortable. Satin finish, very hydrating, but not thick. Does not feel sticky. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous formula, gorgeous formula. It does not have a very strong smell. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I cannot stand um, very, very strong lipstick smells. Even if it smells very nice, I get, I get very, very dizzy from it. The color is just gorgeous, gorgeous. It works with everything. I mean, this, this chic highlighter that's actually a gloss. It's that type of color that anybody can use. Like if you are more like me right now, I'm like a light medium, medium skin tone. It looks beautiful. It's more like a neutral rosé. If you are fair, this is going to look slightly darker on you, but still very beautiful. If you are deep, dark skin tone, this is going to be an incredible nude lipstick for you. They also have this finish that they call Voile, which is like just a pinch of color. I have this in two colors. Listen, you guys, I'm gonna put the names of these lipsticks in my description box along with all the details about the texture because it's written so small. Hmm. Tinted lip balm for sure. It doesn't feel like a lipstick actually. I, I don't know what else to say <laughs> other than it feels like a tinted lip balm. It's not as hydrating as this lip balm that I've applied it on the beginning of the video. I love the color. It's like you want to apply something red but you're not ready to commit all the way. Let's take this off. This is another one of those balmy lipsticks. That's supposed to give you just a tint. This is warmer. You can see it's warmer. It's more like a, like a corally red. I love it because it works with the colors, you know, with my skin, with my hair, the color of my eyes hair out of the way. Both of the next lipsticks are matte. And what should I start? Should I start with the red? Or should I start with the pink? Peggy Taupe, I think it's called. Wow. Hello, pigment. It's so pretty. It's like a mauvey pink, but mm, mm, like mm, expensive looking. It's not like all the way cool tone pink. I don't like a very mauvey lipstick. I actually hate a very mauvey lipstick. You guys know there was like a period of time when everybody was like going crazy with a mauve lipstick and I was like, what is the deal? Because I don't think it looks good on me, but this is like, mm, like just a pinch of that mauve uh, makes your teeth look incredibly white. Check this out. Hi, darling. It does transfer, so it's not transfer proof, but it's very, very matte, thin like you don't feel it. And you, you guys saw, I did like one swipe, 
gorgeous color. Gorgeous. Okay, guys, now let's do goldy red. What is it about reds that they're just <gasps> make me skip a bit? I'm glad I did this one last because I love it. And you know what? This can be day and night. Did I, did I mention anything about the packaging? Look at this. Gorgeous. They have such beautiful packaging and they feel very heavy. Wow, what can I say? I, I'm, I'm in love with this look. In love with this look. This was my five minutes makeup look, but because, you know, the explanation and then the lipstick swatches, obviously this is going to be much longer than five minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this whole look and especially the lipsticks because me and you, we have a special lipstick connection. I'm waiting for your opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Gucci Beauty for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. No, it's like this. This is my sexy face, baby. The, now... <clears throat> no? Yes? No? What do you know? You're not even paying attention to me anymore. Give me some water. I'll take it myself. <laughs>